going to be the sequence. We're going to show all this stuff we work on a little bit. Um, gear formation and search. Okay, we'll use 60, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, but mine will gear right? Uh, yeah, they, they call it manual, but it's the uh, SM, S, SMG sequential manual gearbox. Yes. We can shift manually, you can put automatic, you can use the paddles. And, and, and. Okay. Um, service function in, is which we click on to do um, cash reset, okay? So you can okay. go in train here, and we're going to cast unit. Oh no, that's reset. Uh, that's reset starter lock. If you have an ELP system on it, I replace the starter lock, you can reset it there. On this is when I'm trying to connect to the car. Mm -hmm. Once you click on service function, it, 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 it will treat the software to seek for the terminal 15. Okay, on terminal 30. So if you go here, and this tells you on top of their software? Yeah, it's going to come up here. Terminal 15 is going to come here, terminal 30 over here. So you see that now? This is great though because they're not connected. It doesn't see right yeah. voltage. Yeah. So yeah. When it queried and nothing came back. Yes. Therefore, now this is the function of description of the cast that we already been through that. So if you click here, it will still show up the description here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see that. Yeah. What do I do when I'm working on people card? So I'm going to use the software and go back every time and save this information in a PDF document like this. Mm -hmm. And then I open it differently in the PDF and then I can go through it and then I click on this print document. Go here. I'm going to come up with a solution that's called a CAS. You see, I create a folder for you already in document with a VIN number, okay? Yes. So any document you can save there for a reason. Okay. And, uh, this one will be CAS functional. Here goes the information pre code in video form. If you want, you can directly send it to the printer right here. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So, so, good. so, what I do now, I minimize all of these, and then I, and I um, and actually then go back here when I'm, I close this. And so, so this function here, under this little thing, is a group of pages here. Mm -hmm. That's the style sheets, which they kind of have various things on that. And it, if you have more, multiple pages which you visit, oh, all yeah, of them group so up here, you can click on there. one. Okay. Yeah, you can click in any one here and go back right away to it and you'll be able to. Or you can delete any one of them, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can delete any one of them and you can just click that. So, um, yeah, idle speed can be looked at here and see what adjustment and so on and so forth. If you go and see what adjustment is common or not, like the people who do a smog test mm -hmm. and so on, they can, you know, click here. What other function do you want to learn? E EWS? We have to go in, um, well, steering angle sensor can be done here. You can make an adjustment really. You can, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, you can do usually that's where you have to turn lock to lock. Yes. And you also can do start of alignment and active steering. If the car comes with that, and um, equipment on it. Active steering meaning that it works with the, um, the gearbox, no, it works with ARS, and it works with um, the dynamic stuff of the control, and it's a kind of a steering which allows you to, um, it's a motor which controls by a control unit, which allows you to steer less turn on the highway. It, it really, okay. It's I really, it's really useful. I don't know if your car could play one of these late cars. I don't know, it. but in the um, the the next to last time it started, mm -hmm. that's when I started getting you know like the battery was weak. Mm -hmm. um, it popped up uh, on the Navi and on the display console. It popped up um, Servotronic. Failure, which is it's okay. it's, an, it's a servo that controls yes, the steering, yes, yes, yes. and that's because battery voltage was low. Mm -hmm. Man, let me tell you, mm -hmm. you move that fucking steering, you stop it. You better be a bad damn truck. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, what the hell do I do? Do I take the risk? I shut it off and it won't start because the battery is weak, or let me run it, you know, on the highway because it gets lighter. You know, on the highway you have less friction. Mm -hmm. uh, so I ran it down a little ten minutes on the road, and then I home shut it off. Turn it on, steering was nice and light again. So we reset that module. Alright, so Steve, we're not going to program car communication computer. CIC is uh, all that type of most bus uh, communicate so that this is a communication program. Mm -hmm. That's the diagnosis bus we communicate to. And uh, we're not going to program anything on the radio. I think some of the cars are equal to where vice input is made by you, the driver, when you interface with the car, especially okay. when you talk to the map, like that talk with SOS, emergency. You can press the thing and it, see they use what we call a pre shell code. Okay. You know, pre activation code to activate that one speed. So, therefore, sometimes when you program your car and you update it to the latest high level, it overrides.
page. So how 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 can I query that code to to know what it is? So no, no. Let me show you what it what FSC code is. Let me show you what they look like here. I think I have some for some people computers are. These are this one of them here. This that's what they look like. Mm -hmm. They stick them on a thumb drive. They're root of the drive. Let me show you. Let me show you. Do it so that you have the knowledge of it. I'm on your machine, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll stick it here. And then we're going to let it read. It's going to read. Hey, I'm not on your machine. Um, you have a machine or something like that. I don't know if, if you run this local. I think you run this local because you pulled it up from your file. So that's no, this is my USB. Yeah. Oh, well, no, this is your ASAP. No, yeah, so I'm saying, because this, this number here looks you know, under that desktop description. I don't know what that's. No, it's here, no, this is moving. Okay. Okay, good. Well, that's is your I Let me look at the um, the book of the super I don't know if it's reading. It doesn't look like it's reading. <coughs> let me show you how oh, you. The, the left side port here is um, the high speed rate. Stuff is in my machine, it come up. It comes up in mine, right? Okay, well, let me show you. Let me show you now. Alright, see that? This is a drop that I did the other day for someone. Mm -hmm. You get all the things that they have to do, all the things that So, if you have to do, right here at the back. I know that, um, whilst you put navigation and everything, I know that the they have to be at the root of the drive, okay? They have, they, um, I think they come with the, uh, the speed limiter, mm -hmm. oh, active, yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know what the, the speed limit. So, you want to go more with the speed limit? Oh, hold on, I'm getting to that. <laughs> with the speed limit with the limiter on it, yes, I have gone 160 miles per hour. Scary fucking experience. Yeah. Not be, let me tell you, you feel secure as hell. Yeah. But everything is just going. Yeah. So you you better be alert. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but but I think I think the limiter is is set to one seventy seven. Yeah, yeah. Supposedly on my son's car, I cleared that this weekend, but I I have no way. This yeah. car will never go that far, of course. But I mean, my car is a two hundred mile per hour car all day long. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if, if there is. If there's an option in there to oh well I don't to know enable that, that's you know it's going to be one of one of the many modules that you use yeah. for uh, you know for the engine diagnostic hello hey how's it going um, yeah I'm not I'm not home I'm not home. I'll call you back. Just remember, okay? We click from the local gear network for the icon. Mm -hmm. We click on simulation. So I'm gonna try to simulate something. I don't know if the simulation will work in this one. We can try to simulate. <coughs> so, Mercedes Benz simulate this one. I like it. Okay? It gives me good simulation. It tells you real code. You see that? It goes further in software. Like okay. it's connected to the car. It's still a new car. Gotcha. <laughs> Man, I like using it. I don't want to. It's just that I like it. All right, this one is not going to simulate. No, it's not going to simulate um, an ABL for it. All right, what other function you want to show you? What other things you want to want? No, ba basically, uh, I mean, I just uh, get the, the rolling code synchronized. Oh, um, let me show you about the service function here. Let me see. And the other thing is, um, which I'm going to be doing in the near future, I need to uh, lead, uh, lead the brakes. Yes. Um, and I know there's like an Yes, yes right here, right here. Venus ventilation. Okay. Yes, it can be done right here. 
you can do several things here. You can go now. You can go here. You can go uh, you can go up right here. And you can go to DDS. Try the dynamic drive. Oh, track run part two. I just saw it. Right here. Right here. You can do the lead right here. Lead and routine. You see that? Okay. You also can add this. Whatever you want to add this. You can um, relearn certain other sense of activity. And this is what you call it. Sometimes it's straight up to the center of the point. You have to see it's measuring from zero position and straight up. Right, right. So there's a part in the program which you can go. Yeah, I saw that in, uh, in my son's car. You turn the wheel and it goes zero, then it goes minus, then it goes yes. uh, so minus. is when you turn right, mm -hmm. positive number when you turn left. Yeah, very good. So your son knows to use this program. No, right? no, my son doesn't know shit. Um, but it, it was basically me frustrated, like, yeah. God damn it, why can't I talk to my the one I need to? Maybe I fucked. I, I honestly, I, I told myself maybe I fucked up in the installation. Yeah. Let me just plug it into my son's car. My, it's underneath. Uh, my son's car, the the water pump blew up, so I had, mm -hmm. I trailered it down from West Palm Beach, and it was sitting in the driveway. Hey, Eric, how you doing? Yeah, my name is Eric. I'm uh, calling yeah. from the Illinois Longer. Yes, sir. Okay, you want to send me the team of your ID and the password in my text file? Is it the same one? Yeah, as long as I'm going to be able to uh, look here, just say, set a default password on your machine and then give me that password because I have to do several restarts on the machine. If there's an admin password, I'm going to ask you to remove it for now. Okay? Because I don't know if you're gonna be at the machine all the time. Just remove the user account admin password from it because I just wanted to go directly back to the desktop and I just um, finish exactly what I was doing. And um, yeah, that's it. I just don't want this. You, you can put back all of those stuff on it after I'm finished, okay? And after we make connection to the car, okay? Okay, that's fine. Okay, can I have the ID for the password? Give me just one second. I'm trying to figure out how to. So you want to send the text? Okay, yeah, just send the yeah, just send the this the part password that's in alright. Can you just send the, the ID to me and the password into a text to my phone? Okay, I will definitely do that. Yeah, okay, just leave the laptop on please, or if it's a desktop, just change the core option so that it doesn't go to sleep or standby so I can get on it, okay? All right, so just send me the ID and the password, and I'm going to check back with you so, so just to make sure that I get logged in. I'm going to tell you I'm logged in, and I don't want to monitor me or whatever. You know, but just remember, remove the admin password for now. It's not a business computer, because the last time I logged into it, somebody take me off. Oh, yes, yeah, someone take me off of the company. I don't, it's a company? It is, yeah. Okay, I'm not logging on to a server system which they use for the business. No, I'm asking him. Oh, uh, no, it's just a straight internet connection. I mean, you're the one on a server. It's just a basic laptop that we use just for the okay. uh, software. Yes, yes, yes. Because I don't want people who may work there may have some kind of administrative rights. They say what the heck is going on, and they, you know, just like, you know, what I encountered, you know, about two or three days ago. And I don't know if you guys say, you no, know, no. Uh, did you download the links? Did you download the files and the links I sent you to your email? Um, I didn't get any of them to open to do anything. I don't know what's going on. It just opens to that mega page and does nothing. Okay then. All right. Um, all right. I will. I will transfer the files necessary and I will um, download them through TeamViewer. Okay. I will download. Okay. I will log into my um, my my. Well, I, I I will log into my storage online. I will download them. To your machine, okay. Just, okay. just make sure, me, just make sure that I have proper access to it, and I, it doesn't restrict me and I'm an actual password and all that stuff, okay? Yes, yes. Just send your send send, send, send your, to you. Yes, text the phone number to me. 
text the team your ID and the password, okay? I will do all that. Okay, thank you, Eric. Thank you so much. Yes, sir, Robert. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think he's some kind of a um, chief guy there because I think he's um, he has some kind of a, I don't know if it's this company or something, but the guy who actually several days ago told me that, oh, Eric is the chief of the, the mechanic there, our chief of service. He okay. said something like he's something of something, he's head of something, so yeah, maybe he's some, somebody of substance. Okay. All right, what next do we need to show you? Now? What next do you need to learn? Um, well, we were just talking about uh, you were navigating through menu about the bleeding the brakes and stuff, and um, I was calling one of my friends with his BMW because he said he had. Let me see if we can come across. We could just test everything right now. Let me show you. Let me actually let me actually let me actually because he said we're going to the universal 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 So, so I'm going to be primarily navigating with Insta. Uh, what does um, Impa, what can I do with Impa and you know like those, uh, uh, Impa is a coding tool which you use to uh, make changes in control units in the data files so that you yeah. turn on functions that the BMW should not turn on the function. So let, let's say that for example, I hope not to be the case, but we determine the, the EWS module because the gas seems to be okay because it opens the car mm -hmm. and it, the thing you turn so at least up to the cast, everything's okay. Mm -hmm. um, so let's say, for argument's sake, uh, the EWS is bad. Mm -hmm. um, that has information coded on it, but if I can't talk to it, how do I expect that information? Wait, if the cast is bad? The, uh, I th based on what you said, I think the, CA, the cast is okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cast is okay now. Because, well, when we see the turbo codes in the car, then I can tell further okay. what the turbo codes are saying. Everything is designed in an intelligent way to tell the repair guy what should he start with first. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 correct sequence. I have to see the code. I can't jump the gun. I can't say the castle on fire or whatever. No. So I'm saying okay. Let's or whatever. Uh, let's just say that the EWS, the issues in the EWS, and we cannot, you know, uh, we cannot program that rolling code to it. Um, oh yes, we can every time. Let us yes. Let us yes no. Other issues with the board, like so, for soldering or anything. Look here, anything wrong with the board? There would be an opening chart or some barcode for opening chart to ground chart to be because in the coding, in the chip yeah, coding. Yeah, yeah, to generate that code. Yeah, it will tell it. I even know that really the yeah, it will tell it to replace okay. it. Okay, it will tell it definitely to replace it. Now go to the, um, I guess in the desktop here is, is my machine or yes, this is your machine. Okay, the, the black one is yours. Um, yeah. What is I don't know the. the Coding tool, what does that do? What does this uh, tool radar do? Okay. I2 radar does, it locks, it locks the icon so that we can use IMPA, NSS Expert, WinKFP, and so on. All of those be able to standard tools. Those are actually factory tools. But uh, I don't need to do anything, I just plug it in, they should, yeah, should it, work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. One thing though, one more thing. If you're going to use NSS Expert, like you have to call me because I have to make a change right here. I can show you to make a change, it's just a renaming of the folder. This is IMPA in your okay. server, okay? It works with this, 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 and where is it? IMPA, right here. This okay. one, this server, I say IMPA. All right. The program installed it on C drive, but to Rainbow is a standalone, which is this one, Rainbow here. Mm -hmm. It's standalone. You work with its own. Both EDBS is okay. 7.3. So there's two instances of EDBS. No, it's the same version. 
But there's two separate two, two separate phones. Yes. Yes. Okay. But when you make the installation, they install a drop and either gets hold of the airport okay. 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 And when you also install, it's not deep, it also drops the phone to either store. But the same okay. frequency version. The files are basically the same because I use the same file in input mm-hmm. and make connection to the car using the white cable. Okay. And so on. But because we use the icon and we need to lock the icon, we have to use IT radar to lock the icon to Now uh, one other thing that's reading um there's a certain firmware on these on the icon that has to be 3.14 or something. Yes, like that. I can update that. Is this already updated? <laughs> yes, it's not, yes, it's already oh, updated. Okay. Yes, I did programming. Okay, okay. No, no. So, so I that thought that I, to me, all the shit is, yeah. is Chinese. Let me show you the, let me show you the BMW that I did that bit Let me show you the programming online. Let me show you the browser in my door. I do not send it to you if it doesn't work. I don't know where to call over. I can make sure that I'm complaining after that. Con you are some evil. It's on the spot. I'll make sure I send you. Yeah, I've been stumbling across this. I, I put a uh, gas, gas, EWS online, and there's just some yeah. repair shop in Dallas. Yeah. Some guy said it took him five hours to reprogram an M5. Mm-hmm. Five hours to program? No, the reason why it takes you five hours <laughs> to program an M5 is because of the items on the most bus. It yeah. depends what, what, what interface was he using. Is it the iPhone 8 3 or iPhone 8 I, It doesn't say when, as he panned the camera, you know, from like the desktop into the engine, yeah. you, I saw like some flashing LED that looked like an internet, you know, multiplexer box or something, mm-hmm. but it's really fuzzy, so I couldn't tell, so I have no idea. But I'm like, dang, I have a oh, All right, this is it right here. This is where I was flashing. I was programming the, I, the iDrive controller for my friend, and I was programming the infotainment system as well. This one takes about 21 minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. what, what is programmable in the infotainment system? Mm-hmm. Um, these, these, these together. Amplifier, the CIC, um, no, not comfort access, this one. CIC application, CIC aggregate, the main board, and the CID and the controller. All of these from here, all of these from here, all the way up here. You put the, take the cast out of it mm-hmm. and take comfort access out of it. This, a arm, mm-hmm. one simple interface. And this one here, CIC aggregate, sorry, mm-hmm. application, this is for the map, and then aggregate, and then the aggregate is a gateway, and then CIC I, and um, central information display, and then the control, all of those are on the most ones. Input, okay. items of infotainment, which to say, to the leisure of the owner of the car, sure. your radio, your navigation, your TV, whatever. Those things have to program using the fiber optic most connected. Okay. That is located in the glove compartment, they have the connector B to it. And you plug it to it before you turn on the ignition or whatever you choose to do. Because I plug it, I plug it to it the same day after the ignition was turned on. Everything in, yeah, everything saw everything has been working. Right now. So this is where I was programming my friend Hydra controller. And um, let me check my thing to turn on. All right, good. This is where I was programming this car right here. And it's not doing it, y'all. It's doing it. It's now programming whatever. I have to skip through. I'm skip through it after something. All right, see this right here? It said activation for the import. Remember the thing that I just showed you the sun drive? It's okay. Just, it's, just, it's activation. Ah, okay. It's like stuff, stop the sun drive in it right here. And then I click on continue and watch what's going to happen. It's going to find them. It's going to read them off. But it's about 20 files on it. So I have to keep clicking, clicking, clicking until it, it read up all of them, read up all of them, and then eventually then it comes up to the box again. When I know that it reads all of them, I just press keep import and okay. it just goes over and over. Let me show you. You have time, right? You're not going away now. Yeah, no, no, no. I, the traffic's going away hard. <laughs> if I need now, so. Every time you get. Wait a minute, let me show you something. Every time the battery voltage drop below 13, mm-hmm. that battery terminal is come up. If you don't get the voltage quickly, it close off the plan. It cancels okay. the entire plan automatically. And that's better than damage from money. Yeah, look here, look here. <laughs> It's when people, I do, I deliberate to do this. I deliberate to do it just okay. to show my friend something. See, so when you go to program it, you do not have the FSC code, none of the control units on the most ones going to be programmed. Okay. You got it? You see all of them in red X's? Mm-hmm. Meaning that it's not carried out. All right. So I did this purpose on purpose to show him. Good. And then after that, now I put the in the thing. It's like the before and the after. Yes, yes. I did that deliberately to show him. And so mm-hmm. on and so forth. So all of them there, nothing worked because it's looking for the, the 
Make this equal. Activate those things here. Activate those things here. So, let me go forward and show you another part where uh, you can do that. I think it's on another video. Let me. All right. Usually it comes up with whatever code that's in the system, and you have to press yes to clear it. And if it doesn't clear, you just have to tell it to shut up, Mr. P, mm -hmm. and then open it again, and then work through the file code, and then rectify the file, then clear the file, and then that's it. Even though it's easy, I know. I, I I don't find it difficult. To use. It's very user friendly, and user very very. Easy. Yeah, it, it seems like it's it's very flexible. Yeah. Now this this. The screen in the background, this is all the different modules in the car. Mm -hmm. the, the screen in the background. Which one? 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 Which not right or yes. half codes or bullshit, yeah. I don't know. All right, I understand now. All right, under programming, mm -hmm. that does not show up on the P, it shows up on B. Okay, diagnosis the diagnostic one. Yeah. Okay. B, yeah. And how, how do you call that up? I mean, All right, really meaning that. No, how, how do you call that program? How do you. No, that is called Easter D. I know, so you load Easter D. Yes. There's, I don't know, seven or eight tabs on top. How how do you pull that up? Or does it oh, all you just simply click on the control unit. You click on each one. That stays. All right, let me show you. Let me show you. It's easy with that. Bear with me because yeah. I, I, I've right, never played with this shit. Yeah, so look at this one. You see yeah. that? You see each one of these square boxes? Yeah. If you want to get information from it, just click on it. Click on it. Yeah. But how do you how do you call this up? What? What? This tree. All right. Oh, you call it up? What the software do it? You just, once it connects to the car, it's going to identify the control. All right. All of these are the control units. What do you call it? But you I don't have to select any button or tell it to run or anything? No, no. You don't do it. You okay. just, it just, the software designed in such a way where it dictates which model you want to be updated. Which does not. Okay. The ones you want to update it, it puts a yellow dot and puts it apart from the measure slot and then note as it highlights a button right down here at the bottom okay. saying press to determine measure slot. You do not okay. have to determine it by doing it its way. You can also remove module using expert mode. Okay. You understand me? And you can program two modules one time or one module at one time. I did it before. Okay. But under the new cars now, the entire integration level to all the modules, so therefore if you remove all the modules, it's gonna put back some of the modules. Not necessarily all of it, but it's going to put some of them. Because it has to back up big numbers, got, big uh, order. It's got a little intelligence yes. in there. Yes, they, guys are, they make it right. It's just that they don't want to give the guys um, less problems on the floor, on the, on the dealership floor, on the, um, the end of the dealership. Alright, so let me show you more stuff. I want to show you some more stuff on the videos because I want you to get the same thing. I don't want you to be comfortable like me. And um, let me show you the video. Alright, look. Alright, good. So you see the voice input? This is why I say for the You see in the yellow dot, you call the measure slot and dictate that. I, rem I use expert mode to remove the other models from it. As you can see, all of them is in one. Previously, okay. you see some dots in one of them. Once you see a dot in one of them, it's that to be yellow or gray. Okay. Yellow simply means that it's going to treat it. All right, look now, it creates a final report. It creates a final report of the programming. So, well, I want to scroll down. Let's go see. So you get this um, exclamation mark here mm -hmm. in the triangle is because the activation code did not import because I was doing it definitely to show you that look, this is what I'm gonna get this part is not added to it. Okay. Yeah. Because I did a, I did the video where I put in the activation code mm -hmm. and everything ticked off here as green as I see here. Everything ticked off here. Yeah. It's done properly. So I have the video right there, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Let me see if I can find it now. Here's it right here. Chris on the um on the uh, the eBay website that you say when you buy a program you receive a link with the download uh, the links for the download um, and the manual with the instructions blah blah blah. Um, do I have that in there or no no the links are not permanent enough. I get the links when you come when the software is finished the link is finished. Okay. Yes, the link is done. You want instructions opposed to install it? That's what no, you want. No, because uh, like I mentioned to you before, um, I had a computer. I had. BMW software on it and the hardware crashed. So I, I can't give it a I, I, I lost it and you know so you know if I if 
for whatever reason I need to re reinstall that. I can use it. I can write up one. I don't have any. I just know it in my head what to do. I can write up one and say you it did a lot of stuff. I saw you clicking and moving. It's not hard, man. It's not hard to do. Yeah. It's not hard. All right. No, Mercedes well, what, Benz is more difficult. Once you do it several times, then for you it's like drinking a cup yeah. of water. Yeah. It's going to be the same for you once you learn it. Yeah. All right. When you're going through Istopi, Istopi is not running for the first time. That's why we read on the ID, the vehicle ID, and you can see Terminal 30, Terminal 50. Usually, it comes up with this box right here. This so thing is ignition. Yes, this key on here. This one here, it comes up with this to say if you replace control module. If you replace one control module, you just click yes and then you click the other X and so on. You try to check the bar default? No. Right, but but I, I don't know a history, so I would put no. Yeah. I don't I don't know a history in the car. I don't so if you're going to, if you replace any control module, you just come click yes and usually, you know, it will come up with another dialog box with a list of all the control modules on the car and you should select the one. I now, is, is there any way to query if modules, because I imagine if you replace a module and you put it, it'll put a new timestamp or date or something. Is there a way to query the unit to see the dates of all the modules, if they were all original, or someone down the line is going right. to change something? Wait. Well, yes, I can tell. Let me tell you how. You have to learn the eye level. Um, first of all, you have to learn the eye level. Look, this is right here. Mm -hmm. Let me reset my. Let's see if I can. This one before I forget it. <laughs> yeah. I left one before and in somebody's machine. I don't remember. Yeah, it's not going to be too good. You see, what the hell happened to this one? Oh, yeah. the, the receiver is sitting in my yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we can shut this down now. Are oh, you see this? This mm -hmm. see this um, PDF that I gave you? Bottom, bottom, bottom left there? Yeah, read all of it. Okay. It tells you what you need to know. About that is for. It's fine, or no man, this this right here. No, I, I can't see from here. I can't read the freaking letters. Okay. Advanced diagnosis. Okay, that's advanced. Gotcha. Okay. It's, it's it's telling you about the BMW technology input auto system of the car okay. You just All read right. it and I understand how to fix it. No Anybody I, it's a guy who had a dealership, give it to me. Okay. Yeah. He gave me enough documents. He gave me hundreds of PDF. Cool. Secret documents nice that nobody is supposed to have. Yeah. <laughs> I set up a system for him. I set up two systems for him. So okay. He sent something to me, pay me on PayPal, and you know he's a nice guy, you know? True, and, true. And, and so on and so forth. So he, he gave me enough documents, man. Gotcha. You wanna see them? Yeah, let me show you. Let me reset this one. No, I don't know if you have any document there that, you want it? That, I think I, I give it to you. Wait a minute. I give you that. I, I, I don't I don't know. I was I, I, I give I you the water and get something for lunch where I don't know what happened. No, time. I didn't give it them. I didn't. You want them? Yeah, if you got, you know, for me, I love reading shit. Um, right, let, you me know. Give it them. let me give it them. Let me give it them. I think the ones that on this hard drive right here. Let me put this in on your system. Let me give it the documents. Okay, we have an E60. It, most of the files, anyway, have to do with. I hope it finds the driver, but I hope it has. It, 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 it recognizes this. Is is that that interface a USB 3 or 2? I couldn't tell. When I have point 0.2 on it, let me try this one. It has, it has, this one has 2.0 and 3.0 um, three point two this thing right now. Because the left connector is a 3.0. Alright, let's take it out and put it back. The two right connectors are a 2.0. Okay, let me put it back this. Alright, here you go. You recognize it? Let me cut it back to internet here. Right here, let me give you a copy of the look up. Look, look, look over there, you see much of them? Wow, well, 143. You see that? So, that. so, let me copy it over to you. Uh, you can um, get some experience as to how you read a lot of shit. A lot of shit to read, man. Yeah, I, 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 like, reading, man. I like reading shit, and I have a lot of time to read shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of things to read, brother. A lot of things to read. I like reading. I started learning so much. I just want more clients, and I just want to make. 
I want to learn how to set up a lot of stuff and I set up VW Audi Group as well and also do uh, Mercedes Benz. So mm -hmm. if I get more people, you know, I can make a little bit. I'm going to fucking see what's in the fucking job. I already do it. Yeah. 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 You've got to be in the pink side. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah, and I, I don't smoke and I don't drink alcohol. I just found out um, yeah. a, hmm? a brother of a cousin. Yeah. He was out in uh, riding ATV bikes in Homestead. Yes. And uh, the, the engine crap took a shit, the, the motor, so he couldn't. Yeah. And, and it was locked in gear, so he couldn't take it out of gear. Yes. And it was kind of was crossing the road, and then this car came by, and yes. um, the. Um, Hey, move that shit out of the way. And he's like, I, I, I can't move it. It's yeah. stuck. The engine died and it's in gear and I can't take it out of here. Yeah. And um, so then he kind of drove around him. Yeah. You know, he went and did his thing. And, um, yeah. came, came back and said, Are you going to move that shit out of the way or do you want me to you know, beat you up for it or something? And yeah. I was like, Hey, what was that? Are you just out of it? Okay. Out of it, right? Hi. Cool. And. Uh, do we don't need anything else here? Well, you can shut it down. You can shut it down. And, um... You sure it's got some by me? Huh? I sure it's a button. I said, you're crazy enough to put a bird up in the bottom. No, no, no. I was... No, I, I pushed the button. Yeah. I just... I don't know if I held it long enough. No, don't do that. Right. You burn up in the back. It yeah, to me already. It, it does. It does get hot when it's... Yeah, that's right. Back. On the whole laptop, brother. It will... It will... One, if something causes an input signal, it will wake up at the laptop yeah. and the heat is can't dissipate from the when the laptop sure, in the bottom. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Turn it down and put it so, on. Um, and um so that so the guy, you know, yeah. first time he had you know exchanged some few words. Yes. Second time he got a little more heated yes. and yeah, he moved that shit. I'm gonna come back a third time. If you're here we're gonna have a problem. Yes. Fucking guy came back a third time and shot me. Mm -hmm. So they are still? So they um, arrested him. The police arrested him. Um, the weirdest thing, Chris. Um, they, his girlfriend was was this guy. He goes, what the, are you crazy? What the hell did you just kill my girl? And uh, the guy's like, well, yeah, you know, all right, sorry. And the police came and they talked to the guy and they they didn't do shit. The guy, the guy was running loose. And then today, the guy turned himself in and goes, look, because uh, he made a police report. He said, yeah, I shot him yes. and I killed him. Yes. So. Sorry, yes. I'm like, fuck. So you Sorry, so so then the, the guy, but the, that happened on, that happened on Friday. Mm -hmm. It's almost a whole, got right. a week. That's a week so the week. guy, he went to the police today and turned himself in. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I guess they filled out some paperwork and then they called him to court today and then the, the judge found him guilty of second degree murder. Yeah, I thought it was one way. I mean, I'm completely unnecessary. Yeah. People are crazy on People are nuts. All right, look. So the FFC code are enabled. Look, if it, if the, the, the data carrier is a USB drive in which it is there. Mm -hmm. So look, look, see that? Again. Look again. Look. Really? See? It found them off and I took it off and it's doing it. So after doing it's a lot of fuzz on the people when you're doing it, doing it without finish. It's going to go forward. So is is there any way to go back to BMW and find out what all the original setup was for my car or for any car? Or? Well, I mean, well, online? yes, yes. Let me show you, of course. Let me show you. This is an ETK. I showed you before the PDF document. I showed you. ETK is um. This is not European, right? This is another guy. Yeah. Right, let me all right, let me minimize this. Let me let me let me open another instance of ETK. And. Um, no, but this is going to give you parts. No, it's going to show parts, you Parts, accessories. Are, yes, parts and accessories. It has a price list also. But look, what I'm showing you is the history mm -hmm. of your car. The history meaning that the original vehicle order, the vehicle order, okay. take into consideration the standard equipment and optional equipment. Okay. All right, I'm going to show you. No, no, but my, my I think I, maybe I misstated my question. Yes. So they, they build a car. Yes. It comes through a, the production line. Exactly. Like they, they build a car. And um, and um, then they plug it into a computer, yes. and they pull the build sheet or some scan some paper as linked to the car in the build sheet, yes. 
And then they, they program the AWS and the CAS and the Combi and this shit. And yeah. Everything gets programmed mm-hmm. at that moment mm-hmm. as a complete package, a mm-hmm. high level package for everything. Mm-hmm. Is there any way to find out what that was? Because I don't know. This, this seems like physical parts parts, screws, yeah. you know, accessories, bolts, nuts, filters. Um, I'm looking, I'm asking about the software, what the car software was built with. Okay. So I can find out, well, okay. Because I'll right. tell you what I know about the car. Yes. My car, yes. the original purchase of the car, yes. was a uh, Florida Highway Patrolman. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, you want to know some history? That's what I, I want, want first. I want to find out if there's, like, I know that, for example, he changed, he put an aluminum pulley, a smaller pulley. Yes. Because a smaller pulley in a car makes all the, the belt system go faster, yeah. so it, it takes less power from the engine, so yeah. you get more rear wheel horse. Like, you don't the fucking car can't find horse, you don't more power, right? Yeah. But, um, and, and I know, because I got the service history from the guy, uh, that he changed the, um, um, the electronic gearbox, uh, sequential manual gearbox pump. Yes. Uh, the transmission, it's, it's, it's called a manual transmission, but it's, it's fully automatic, it's all electronic. And, and I know that. And also, um, these cars have, uh, they have this feature called launch code. Like a fucking launching a rocket. Yes, yes, yes. It's the exact same thing. It's like fucking launching a rocket. Um, usually, they, 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 there's, a, there's a module that monitors that. And every time you launch the car, it writes that, you know, this has been launched once, it's been launched five times, okay, I seven see. times. Well, it depends on... Because it seems like this software has like... Capability. I just, I don't, I don't yes, know. It, it has capabilities designed only for the, the dealer pro, the technicians and the dealer pro, the pro of the car, but the pocket state. Because mm-hmm. um, let me give you an example. Mm-hmm. If you buy a new M5 today, mm-hmm. you buy a new M5 and you launch, there's a special, the whole sequence, you gotta hold the brake, you gotta put the, the, the manual gearbox in the manual mode. Uh, you have to switch the dynamic stability off, the electronic brake control off. There's like 10 different things. Once you do all that, mm-hmm. you hold the lever forward, mm-hmm. you slam your brake on the, um, you slam your foot on the gas, yeah. and your foot's off the brake. Mm-hmm. And the car goes, the US spec mm-hmm. goes from idle to about 3,000 RPM. And it just is a When you let go of your box, that shit goes from 3 to 10. It takes off like a fucking rocket. If you do that four times, it, re- it reports it every time. If you do that four times, say you do it six times, and a, a year from now, cars under warranty, you go and look, I'm having a problem with the transmission. They query the module. Yes. The module oh, says. And then they blame it on you. No, no. They, they, it's fucking written. Yes. But they, they see, they're going to blame it on you that they screw your transmission. That's what I'm telling you. It's, yeah. it's hard coded there. Yes. And, oh, I'm having a problem with the transmission. They're going to go. Oh, this car has been launched six times. Yes. Therefore, yeah, it's abused. Before, yes. And you were not, if it's a problem with the, with the electronic module for the transmission yes, or the gearbox, yes, yes. Or da, 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 yes. it's on your back. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I heard I'm asking about, you know, how you can't, we, No, you can't change it. They, if if yeah. you can query that. No, I don't want to change it. I want to yeah. query it. I want to find out. No, you won't know it because it's a secret to them. The, dealer, the people who do it is the, um, the people on the factory floor. It's not on the factory floor. They update the module with some. But after the car is built, now it goes back to the factory. Mm-hmm. After you build the car, it never goes back to the factory. Yes, but look, the specialist software are third party people who are making software um, and interfaces to help you to manipulate the mock data and the DC. Yes, they are mm-hmm. part of it, they can do it. They are a software engineer, you know, they are programming around, they are using the right sure. thing. But if you change it and you bring it back to the dealer, um, they have something there which they call um, faster data. Faster data pulls all the programming history of the car. Okay. And they are having to Let us go up. Fa- faster data? No, faster data. Faster. Oh, fa- fa- faster. Faster data. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 When you're running Easter, when you're running Easter D and you're diagnosing the car, you're making diagnosis query, mm-hmm. it's going to come up with that. In the That'll pop up. Rise up in front of you in a data box and read out and store it somewhere. I can show you where they store it in Easter D. I do not know yet to open it. I try to open it and try to see if I can examine the detail. But I, I need to talk to my software friend and tell them the extension and then to see if you have anything in store. Viewer or whatever they need to. Yeah, if you can extract. Because I want to see what the data is and what they can kind of analyze because they tell, they can tell if you, if, if you do something to the car and then you come back and you claim that to warranty that they should give you that. They're going to say, no, 
Now we have the reference of the car that no, that didn't come so far as the vehicle harder and then again if you treat the car a certain way, we can see all the behavior. They look at mm-hmm. the mob curve, they look at certain curve behavior. Yeah, yeah. They look at torque curve, they look at mob curve, sure. protection, everything. Yeah, they look at it because I just came point up using SAP. They hide that part from us. I just don't know what to do that part yet. Where where is that what what where where is the file going? What is it called or I mean, was it, was it I do not know exactly if those kind of information is written there 100%, but Adam sent you, let me show you where. Let me show you where. Now we'll go here and see the other one, now we we'll go on. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm 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 So hard drive. I don't know if yeah, I know, I know. That's just, just a backup. So sorry, say drive. I use this one the program. So sorry, say it goes much faster. I just yeah. installed this. I just put this installation, and then I just put the new VM logo. Let's just update on that. Let me show you where that it is. Let me show you. Yeah, I was looking around like for uh, one, one terabyte, you know, SSD. What size? Like one terabyte. One terabyte. How much? Um, like 560. No, I don't know. They dropped the price to about 300 something for one. Let me show you a picture. I buy only Samsung Evo. I buy Samsung Evo. Let me show you. Yeah, the price dropped. So it's about 150 something now, so therefore, if that double that would be 300 something now. Huh? Yeah, yeah. And that was this one. That should be about. Sure, right. Oh, the one I did with the one. The keyboard is not responding right now. Let's change that. See that? 3 something for you. See that? 307 for you. New Egg, you can get a 307. And that's it. And this one? We read 288. You see that? Yeah. I, I use all that because they're fast and they are right yeah. speeds. Much, much more reliable. And so on. I just hope that if this, if that one drops, it's a Samsung Evo right here. If that mm-hmm. one drops, it doesn't get screwed up. I just hope because I have a cutter, it drops, it is the old disc one. Mm-hmm. It, it never turns off. Yeah. Um, um, I'm going to find a pattern for it. Right below. It's supposed to be, I didn't this water, it's supposed to be somewhere here, it's supposed to be here, across the days of As I read up, all of them, all of these are, all of them are, are there. These are just files saved here for different car I work on, different, different numbers are. It's supposed to be there, in the days of August. Right here, it's supposed to be right here, I didn't believe them. Unless of course they are in this one. The program data needs to be somewhere in logs. Oh, here's the log here, let me look, they're right here. It's there, man, because I see it before. I see it before, it's there. Um, I just don't know where they hide it. But they use, oh, here's a log right now. See that? No, this is just basically a log. It could be any log for updates or whatever. These are just mm-hmm. big, um, big numbers I work on. You see them? Yeah. But it doesn't contain information that, that they, um, the Puma people use to know if somebody's conning the dealership or conning mm-hmm. BMW. Yeah. They run background information when you're uh, diagnosing the car, you read out every history of the car. Yeah. Yep. When it was first programmed. You read the eye level, the eye step, or the eye shipment they call it in Germany, or eye stuff in Germany. Mm-hmm. They read out what version of software to update the car. They look at when the coding files are changed. Everything. I know that's what they call it. As they're looking if you are doing something, sure. and then you're coming back claiming um, reimbursement. Yeah, I didn't do say. anything, you know. No, I'm not not the don't warranty. Do yeah, let me say don't do nothing. You know, yeah, yeah. You, you know, no, no, but that, that's what they say. And then they come back and say, oh, oh by the way, you changed this, and you changed this, and yeah. you did this, and you did that. You know? Yeah, if persons really do, they can catch them. Yeah, just don't be deceitful with them. That's how they catch them. You know? Just don't be deceitful. That's all. Because I know other guys say that they, you know, they put this and that on their car. And you know, like they put something on it, a rich of it. Alright, this is where some of the dates are allowed here. And this is some of them here. Some of these dates are allowed there. 
turn on these. All right, these data are allowed here. See that? All of these are, mm -hmm. are activation. These are the cards that I write the activation photo. So I live near these FSC codes for these VIN numbers. See that? So I use that archive to do a lot of different VIN numbers. So the activation code, that's it. See the different VIN? Mm -hmm. A lot of archives. Let's see what they have here. See that? These are the data. This, 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 this is what they call it. All of them right here. Okay. This is it. The drill out right here. See that? All of these, that's it. I never opened any before. I tried to read it. And try to figure out what it's saying right now. All of these, all of these, see them? Mm -hmm. All of these, I can't, I don't know what to do to, to open them. I do not know what to do. All of these are the control units on the car for the particular VIN number, okay? For this VIN number. Right. Right. So all of these are the data that they they, 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 they they look at and they find out these kind of car, what they've done to it, whatever. All of these are allowed. Central, okay, see that? Mm -hmm. So I'll, let me see if I can open it with my open notepad plus plus and see what it is. Take a sneak peek. This is not a binary file. It's not a binary file. So we can look at this. We can look at. You see, they know what it means to them. I don't know. I just yeah, yeah, yeah. I never said to <laughs> Yes, I don't know how to interpret this one. So it's a lot of information. Of I wonder why the goddamn thing broke up so slow when they're doing shit. <laughs> yeah, no, I was gonna say the the. I yeah. mean, it's, it's pretty an intricate program. Yeah. So I'm yeah. sure there's a lot of stuff they can do with it that yeah. they don't necessarily share with anybody else. Yes. Oh man, this is like, see the log logs? Let me open one of these logs. Oh, I opened one before. These two right extracted, I opened them. Uh -huh. Yeah, 16, uh, 8, it's somewhere here. Right, 16, 8, 12, 280. 16, 16, 8, 29. Yeah, it's in sequence, it'll be further down. The next tab over is the next. Here's one that I opened somewhere here. Let me check. Here's it, right here. See, this one I opened. I opened this one, and mm -hmm. right here. So I open a lot of them. There's a lot of shit that you can't fully understand what they mean. I don't know what they mean. So uh, that's really, this is really a lot of it. Yeah, talk to your buddy, see if you can share some info on them. Oh, well, they, they, no, he doesn't, he, he's not proficient in it like me, because he called me yesterday for asking me to, go to get certain things on the virus program. He goes using an NCS expert to do certain coding to get yeah. the remote to close the, the, uh, the roof. Okay. They have one of the remote button for us, that's not going to happen. Yeah, because it opens it, but it doesn't close it. By default. Yes, it will open, but it will not close because I think comfort access is not a part of the vehicle. Okay. Yeah. And that's what no, comes. But the the as far as I know, I, I know like for example, if you go, you open, you click once, you open the door, you know, depending on the driver door or yes, all doors, yes. and if you hold it, then it opens the song with the windows. Yes, yes, yes. But it, I'm not aware that you can close it by default. I'm sure there's no. A, they turn it off because I'm sure they there's a sh little tick you have to put somewhere. To yes, turn it on. they 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 are. <laughs> They turn it off because, let me show you the trace file, let me show you something here. This is NCS coming here. It, is there a screen in here where you can see that? Yeah, that I can show you. options and change them? I or? can show you, let me I worked on a card the other day, or this guy, I copied it, let me see. It's supposed to be not work for that. Yeah, because one thing that I would like it to do, when you shut off the car, so the mirror is cold. Yeah, you can record it. Yeah, your car can record it. But by default, it's not doing it, but I know it doesn't because there's a can. manual button that I can override it. So, uh, yeah, so your car have folding mirrors, right? Yeah. All right, but once the motor is in it, then the, the option can be coded. Yeah, no, it does have the motor. We can use NCS Expert and code. The motors are code. there for sure. Uh, they work because I can open and close them. Um, yeah. But they don't do it automatically. So. No, you have to code it in NCS Expert. You have to code it here. Right? I think that's pretty cool. You park the car. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking for it. Let's see if it's work for I see if we got a couple of his work for it here. I have all the maps also. If you want maps, I have maps to update your navigation unit. I, I can send it the file from. Uh, the, but I will take it because my map is from 2007. Yeah, you can update it. What, what do you have there? C, triple C? Car computer in the computer? I think it is. Yeah. I think it is. But I think you have to read out some ID on the back of it. And then you can tell me and then I generate. Well, they can give me the bit and I can get the FSC code. And okay. I can, but, I, but I sell it for 30 dollars so. though. I sell okay. FSC. Well, if you're going to update, if you're going to activate the map, Normal FSC codes, I sell it for thirty dollars for the car, all together. But if you're gonna activate the map data, I install a map, I sell it for fifty. You know, cause I, you know, I pay money to get it. Sure, sure. sure. So you know, I just hope people you know, can respect that. You know? All right, let me show you what I was gonna show you here. Um, NCS Expert has the, 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 the these file right here. These are the file here. Trace file. Like. This is this is a, this is a, um, yeah. 
there's a work tool like computer over there on, on his computer to mine. Because I use this computer to to TVR to help program the United States. And I copied mm -hmm. his work tool that has the, the, um, the files that is read up from the model. I want to show you some things in it that I have a video, I'll make a video, I'll make videos on it, I'll show you videos. Here's a video, see how many videos are already. Alright, this is the option, you see right here? This is the option that I was turning on in this car, let me, let me skip the video. Alright, this, this is what he wanted, this. Mm -hmm. These are, this is CBA, convert with that module. He wanted this to be turned on in it. Um, this, this is German, O, O, H, N, E, mean without. And this means comfort, I mean open, key for, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, without comfort, and open, key for. Niche, not active. Yeah, not active. Yeah, and this one said, without comfort, key for, active. Okay. okay, yes. So therefore now, we have to turn one of these active and one box in each other because we are the online it says without comfort off mm -hmm. off with keep up the niche active so without comfort usually this car doesn't come with comfort access so okay. that is why they put o h n e here okay. without yeah. comfort open you got it yeah. but so if it doesn't have the feature it's not active but he, no he uses the remote to unlock the car you hold it down mm -hmm. and it right on the windows and it pull back the camera to myself and put it down and screw it but you can get it by the opposite ah. way. So we have to come in here to turn on these different lines in the module. The trace file is what a reader for the module. Okay. The access expert. Let me show you the video where, we, where we're doing it. We're doing it. I'll work right now. Okay. And um, I'll go for this one. I want to do that. Let me show it. It was in one of these files. You see this garage? This is the guy that set up his vehicle assistant from last week Friday. He's mm -hmm. located in Allende. This is his garage. Yeah. Beautiful garage. Yeah, I didn't say, garage. It looks like a fucking beater setup. That's yeah, the same yeah. type of furniture the beater uses. Yeah. This is where I set up his system here for him last week Friday. And I'm sitting up for a Mercedes Benz system for me asking for a Mercedes Benz. Okay. Um, Multi Plex right now asking, well, I'll second wheel for the man on the So he said, okay, so I'm going to get it. That's him right there, that's his express. His two persons are on him and another guy right there as well. Yeah, he knows they're crying, he doesn't say nothing. He doesn't have a problem. It's a party I had to so Party! Yeah, let, me sh let me show you the album. Let me show you. I have it here. It's just like, I don't remember where, where I left it. Let me look at it. Oh, yeah, this is it. So we load a profile, we select, um, we select a profile here in system. We go here in the VCS. What is all that ZCS? Oh, this is the central encoding key. In the old BMWs before 2005, for mm -hmm. central encoding key meaning that's a string that all has legal order, the essay option. Okay. Are these things, let me show you. Let me show you. These things right here. These. These okay. are the things that make up so all of these. Mm -hmm. These essay codes. S with these, with the AI, we just call them S equals for sure, S equals. These right. are what make up the vehicle order. Sure. These are with the dollar sign strings right here. These right here are the dollar sign strings right here. See each, each dollar, this is this, this, and, mm -hmm. and these uh, percentage sign here, and this, you see that? All right. right, we have to put in those characters, we're not going to add to the vehicle order. Okay. Yeah, we can use the SS expert to write to the vehicle order, yeah. We don't want to add an option if we want to turn on certain features. Mm -hmm. Like say we want to put in a combo box, or we want the USB to plug it and treat the audio from the cable mm -hmm. to the car radio and then back onto the speakers or we can code a Bluetooth wireless it and so on. We can add the option here with an, um, Yeah, because my, my car doesn't... No, yeah, it has Bluetooth because I have my, my phone paired to it. Uh, it's an E64, it has a drop top, convert to E64, that's the one we're doing now. Look, we're going to go to the CVM, convert to the top here's it. Let me turn on that. That Jamaican, so you can understand. <laughs> yeah, he's a Trinidad guy, you know. He got a job to do, right? In sure. New York, but guess what? He can do research on the damn thing. He go ahead to, to do. Yeah, well, either you you know what you're doing, or 
consult with somebody who does. That's what I always say. Yeah, he did. He did. He did something before on a car, but he did some coding on F series because he have E chassis. Sorry, you do coding on F chassis, right? And he did few coding on um certain E chassis cars. Mm -hmm. But look, man. All right, this is the file I was opening up. Let me go back. This is what I want to show you. Choose a profile. We're gonna read out the vehicle data from the conversion module. And this is how we've done. We shoot the chassis right here, it's 60. We read the vehicle order and the vehicle on the cast. You see, everything already is read up on the cast. Okay. So we're gonna press the back one, we're gonna process the ECU, and we're gonna code with that. And then now uh, this is the files, this is the IP and the PDR file. We're gonna say code here, release, mean read. We're gonna read out the trace file. And then we're gonna um, we're gonna execute the job. Now it drops it, it drops all the information. So, so, file now. so the, the software you installed is English. Languages, but yes, some of the prompts come back with in German. Some of them, yes, some of them call it German variants. Yeah, some of them. But dominantly, yours is English, and it, it comes up with two German variants. This is a file in which it's the same. So I'm going to use one plus 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 and show you. So, as you can see here, these are in German really, but we used to them so far. We can we, we know what most of them mean. You know what I mean? Okay. And we use Google Translate to translate all, all of those words and so on and so forth. Kindly, no one other crap. So. We wanna scroll them to the point where we um we're gonna actually change up this all over here so we it This is just the basic concept of what's in the file. All mm -hmm. of these are functional description of the active niche active function of that control model. Alright, so what we're doing here is just basically trying to look for you know, the lines that says comfort access default and those from you know mm -hmm. niche active to active. Save like the file but then that one file or that one is and write it back to the car. Using the same profile, we used to read the car. Okay. I mean, a lot of things you have to learn. You're gonna like it, you're gonna like it. I am saying to you, all right, you see the function now? You see them? Yeah, see so the function? Yeah. Without, com without comfort, this means off. Okay. Without comfort, back. You see, these come default in that car as a part of the vehicle order because comfort access is not on. It's not on. Yes, not on yes. You see, if comfort access was on it, they wouldn't put these lines here. This means without. You understand me? These would have the say comfort yes. Yes. yes, it would yeah, it would be all comfort. Yes. Yeah. So if if we remove niche active from here, which I did before we did the work. Mm -hmm. It did it did a code, it didn't work, the function okay. didn't work because comfort access, that comfort access model is not on. It doesn't exist, right? Yes. And you have to go to the class to change something again. And I also changed that in the class and so I said, the, the, the class work. has a bunch of shit, not just I thought it was only part of the uh, key Yeah, it doesn't want to sequence, you know, it doesn't yeah. it work with a key for us. Uh, and the ear antenna up in the F Z D ear up in there yeah. where the mirror is at the F Z D it has a transmitter around the way that connects to the cast and then that's what the key information through proximity is being talking to the car and so on. And comfort access or the very same way everything connected to the um, transmitter, everything wired up to the cast and you know. Yep, that's it right there. So um let me see, where what am I doing? Oh I pause it and Alright, let me see, I was talking to him. I'm putting in the comfort word to go search for it in the light of the new comfort. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to scroll down to find that's just uh, without comfort. So key. the ones that we, you know that say without comfort, then change the niche to. Yeah, all right. Uh, this is the, this is, these are the two, right? These are the key form. Let me see. It's key form. Mm -hmm. It's a key form in German. It's a German word. So without the module and with the module. Yeah. Without comfort, of, mm -hmm. of. Okay? Not actually. Yeah. With, without comfort, key, of. So they do not, they put it on each active because it doesn't come up in front of the vehicle order, but they leave the file like that in the car. So that means yeah. they bring it to the dealer, all they gotta do, they just... Yeah, I, I remember years ago with, uh, I call it the baby dealer, the, the yeah. 325, yeah. Um, I wanted daytime running lights. Yeah. And the guy says, oh, you know, it's a hundred, yeah. back then it was a hundred and twenty dollars an hour. I'm like, yeah. are you kidding me? You have to plug the shit into the computer and flip the switch and charge it $19. Yeah. Like, so I told the guy, he was doing some other yeah. service and maintenance on my car. Uh, I told the guy, what, what, what do you like? Do you like, do you like whiskey? Do you like rum? What, what do you like? Yeah. He accepted. No, I, I asked him, what do you like? Oh, no, man. Oh, I like uh, Chivas. And nah, Chivas is bullshit. <laughs> so I said, um, take care of me and I'll be back tomorrow. And yeah, I yeah, came yeah. the phone there around the fucking bar. Uh, yeah. Of uh, Black Lane. I told them, I said, um, I said, I didn't bring you the blue label because you didn't take good care of me. You, you, you solved my issue. Mm -hmm. But, so you get a black label. You know, black label is like a $35 bottle. Blue label is $150. So, 
All right. This is it, right? The cast module. See, we have to go to the cast module. We have to read out the trace data. Okay. So the cast module. I want to open it with Notepad Plus Plus, and we have to look for this guy. Comfort, chill sound, mm -hmm. key fob. Okay. Okay. I want to look for this one also. I didn't find this one. I find this one in the cast. I did not find this one. Okay. I find all of these except this line that says Comfort in position. Okay. But Comfort position, but laid. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they mean by laid. Comfort laid position. So could it mean that? Laid meaning a function where you're you when you're laid on something? Yeah, I, I don't know, like a default or open. Open, open okay. and mean open. Okay. Comfort open. It will open. This function is active on the car right now. Okay. Yeah, that comes that way. You can use it not to open that car. Open you can't close it like that. You have to use the FDD button. Yeah, it's the same on the same with the yeah. subject to my car. You can open it or you can open it. This one says comfort key. Chiris Chiris mm -hmm. mean key. Comfort key. Pump. And then Time, I mean right, and give, open, keep up, chiding, right, and give, and have, I don't remember what this means in German, and have, I could even use translator look it up, what's uh, and have, translator in German, translator, translator is Liftable. So you see, it's telling us that it means liftable. So if we look at this side, we can say, okay, right liftable key from. See that? Say so lift it and put in, close it. Put in the lane, see what the hell the lane is. In. What? Lane? Lane or lane? The lane, see what the lane okay. is in German. Yeah, yeah. Lane, lane, lane. Draw. So this is where, all right, we have to change this line also in the NFR model. But this, 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 this right up right here on the website mm -hmm. is for E90, E90 chassis. Okay. But I was just for the same price for E60. Because it, yeah, no, it shouldn't. The, the structure should be pretty much the same. It's yeah, pretty much the same. Yeah. The the vehicle. Yeah, the vehicle order will dictate now the different line that may need to test yeah. from the factory. So therefore, I did not find an NFR model, a full model on the um, E64. I didn't see it. Alright, so man, it's nice, man. What is this you want to hear? What is this that comes to your mind that you want to be clear on? I just, just want to hear that baby purr. Alright, alright. All right, all right. I hear that thing fire up and then I can right, play want, with it. You want to go down there now? And then. Uh, you know, well, I'm going to head well, I'm, you know, what time is it? I'm going to head out and. Yeah, and uh, before night coming so we can. Yeah, I'm going to head out and uh, imagine traffic will be a little. Uh, it's quarter to six, so yeah, it might be around seven before I get home. But, um, but yeah, I'll. Uh, I'll Plug it in, I'll hook up my charger. And it says zoom in two. Zoom. Oh, the Z U V two in German. Go figure. Hey, they, you know, so I mean, for, for them, they. Uh, Z pass boom. We told Kofa, I don't read that. I don't know what Z I don't know what Z means. It. All right, mid. You see mid? Uh -huh. It means width. It's oh, width. Yes, okay. width. <laughs> width, pump, some pump yes. the bear Yes, I read that yesterday. B E I and ver. Where yeah, this is Spanish, man. Mid pum de ver. Let me see if I can write it here. <laughs> Mid pum de ver. See that? Oh, oh ver doesn't come up to that. Let me, let, yeah, let me see if I can put it to here and see what it comes up to here. No, see that? So that's yeah. what it, it means in that. And then this one now. Z, Z, E. In time, so we say time. What is not? No, 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 So what should we have to do to figure out shit and sell people shit? <laughs> I, I, I've done a little bit of that because the, the program uh, that I reinstalled like a week ago, yes. um, in the installation process, everything was German. So I, uh, I had a machine here. Was, I mean, it, okay, that means go ahead. No, do not uh, write restart, do not restart, or whatever. What we are doing now, we are actually using that. We are using an editor. This is an editor right here, the software, this one. Mm -hmm. See that? 
you're using it, we can translate everything. But this one translate, you, you have the same thing on your machine. You know, I can okay. show you to use it when we connect to the car and when we connect to any game that we're playing on, or we lock the iPhone when we use it. We can click this translate and translate all the German words in some English alongside here. Okay. And the English we are to Very easier to follow. And having to, to switch screen to get the, yeah, the translation. The translations. AUF mean on. AUF mean on. Okay. Yeah. Right on position. Right on with time out. See? Yeah. So that's what it means in English because I put them in on Google. <laughs> okay. It's yeah. yeah, so a mental exercise, you know? For language, they use the word sparsing. Sparsing. Okay. Sparsing. Alright, look, look, look. I did something with I'll show you something. No, no, well, even from the I don't know, even it's different. Even if you're up in um, that's right up the road here, that's what I'm No, the, the guy from New York now, he's in New York doing this car right now. You see that one? That was yesterday. Mm -hmm. or, sorry, they were placing it. Okay. And this one is here, Monday or Tuesday. This is where I was doing the car Monday. And he called me for my assistance. He was there five hours. Six hours, probably seven hours, the guy was there, man. He didn't know what to, what to do, but. I tell him, look, you should do your research, man, because you have to read. And a lot of it is on the forum, and some of the recording is on YouTube. So you can look at it. You see this? Mm -hmm. It says Bari. Guess what that means? Battery? No. Chassis. <laughs> like, where in left field, right, you this, know? This is the battery right here, Bart. Really? Yes, okay. battery. So B is battery, and then utility or something. Bart. That's what German for battery and so on. So it's funny stuff, man. German people. Yeah, um. I guess would it be in, in, in the key to program the battery? Yes, yes, yes. It's for, for your car, yes. Can you show, show, show me where? Oh, I have to connect to the car. It has to read the car, read number, and then it highlight the child. That's for that. That's big and big. Let me show you. It has to, it has to be see the V number, and it has to finish identify the feature control module. Look at the action child and history. It will not turn on. Those child will not be highlighted for you to click on it. Okay. To go to the next level, if the car is not identified in the software. It has to be okay. that way for you to see that one. Well, let me show you something here. I think I use this to be. Let me pause this for now. Let me um, go back to YouTube. Let me show you one of my videos where I was doing a programming. This stuff here. See this? Mm -hmm. It's grayed out. It's not connected to the car. This. This okay. is highlighted. This is highlighted. See that? This is highlighted. All of these are highlighted. When you're, when you're reading all the data on the car. So let's finish reading all the data on the car. This is turned to white. This one right now is grayed out. You see? Mm -hmm. This is turned to white like data management. This is grayed out. Okay. This and this will be highlighted when it's finished doing a session ah. on the car. Okay. Or if it just put it to the car. If, even, if it's shaded, it means that it's not available. It doesn't see it. No, because, no, no. Where the software is identifying the control units. Ah. This, it, it, it will not be turned on nor this. Okay. Because it assumes that software is working. Right, right. When it is not doing anything. After you release that process, then yes, this will open up, and this will okay. open up to white, and then you are clicking. This is where you go to, to um to add the battery. Okay. And this is where you also go to enable map codes and stuff, and you can delete vehicle order, write vehicle order, and you can add conversion and retrofit by just doing vehicle. Okay. When you click on this, it opens a whole line of tabs here. Okay. And you can click on different stuff, conversion, coding, whatever, whatever, whatever. Car key memory settings. It, it, it can that the is an Insta P P S P S P. You can see it right here, right here. Mm -hmm. Integrated service card, so you can, you can program that piece of it. So, okay. Anything you want, you can just look at the top of the cycle bar, you know, see. You can see expert mode is enabled, you see that? Mm -hmm. Expert mode allows you to click right here in the control unit, see? And you can click on the control unit, and then you can uh, remove it from the measures, and you can see immediate measures. It lets you do more stuff. Yeah. Very good. All right, I was saying, let me show you something about high level. What high level is, BMW high level now, they developed it, the protocol in 19, you know, sorry, 2004. Mm -hmm. Because what they do now, to, the cars are coming more technological and they have control units, do most of control function on the car. Okay. What they do now, they program all the control units and tie one software version number to it. And this is mm -hmm. what it's to. Yes. Okay. One software version number is this that reflect that the car had released 2009, September. And the chassis group is E89. This also covers E87 and E90. And as you can see, with E89X covers E87 and um, E90s, 91, 91, 91, 
What what would be like the code for my car E60? No, well, when you put it on it, it will tell us. Oh, it will tell us. Yes, tell oh, okay. Yeah, it will tell us the element. This is the element from the plant. This one right here. The actual, the, um, the actual. So if those are not different, they've done nothing to the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If this and this is the same, the car has never been programmed. It's original from the factory. Yeah, from the factory. Good. But once you see this, say 2016. This is, this is where. So is, is there somewhere there where you can query? What was done between here and here? If the date, if the the versions are different, like for example, this car. Mm -hmm. So obviously they did something on um, July sixteen. Yes. Um, two thousand sixteen, because uh, the police five hundred three used to be five sixteen from yes. from July from September nine. Yes. Two thousand nine. Yes. So, is there any anywhere that you can pull a history? What has changed? I know what they get there. Well, let me think of the words. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. All right. Let me show you. <laughs> Pick your uh, brain. Let me, yeah, yeah. Let, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you where it's coming from. Let me go back to the root to the folder and show you where all the files are. We have IPO files. Wait, and that's that would tell. That would tell me what I was asking you. Yeah. You know, where can I find out the history of the car? Uh, no, you're not gonna know that. Tonight. You're not gonna know that. You have to work at BMW to know that part. You have to be a part of Puma Production and Management System. I have to say. Okay. You have to be a part of that to know that part. You have to be. You're not gonna know that history like that. You want to know that the car has been having an idle level. Something changed. Yeah, something changed. Yeah. That's all you're going to know. And you have to make sure that your ISTP matches the idle level version on the car okay. so that they can actually program the car and code. If the if 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 idle level in your ISTP version doesn't match the idle level on the car, from, from, from who lost up the car. And how do you how do you check that? Oh, that's simple. I'm going to show you. Look, okay. Look, I'm going to show you. Go here, data. I'm going to shift over. I'm going to ISTP. You want me to start over? So you don't know so, where I'm coming from. Let me show you. Um, show yeah, you. I mean, I'll see drive here. And we will and program data. So the BMW is installed right here. Something say for us and your car E60. We open it and we go in config, con, um, config management data and we click on Z, ZK and we right click and open it up with a, either um, notepad plus plus or notepad. Mm -hmm. Click on that. This is how you know the high level of the car. Okay, just scroll down to the bottom. This is it right here in the line. So the high level on your car, or the high level in this instant, mm -hmm. it is this one here. And the E60, it is 2060, which is the latest I level. Okay. That simply means if the car was in dealership and it program and up to I level of this 16 of 07, the E stuff can do. The E stuff can do. Okay. But if it has something like say 2016 and um, okay, December, like 12, mm -hmm. you may see that there are probably two or three months from July up to that time, so you know that they will update the files and okay. the car, you understand? Know so therefore, now you have to get updates, incremental mm -hmm. updates to put on that. Stuffy, and then it changes the eye level in all the files in all control units. So, therefore, when you go okay. forward for the car, it will match the eye level. They call it eye level mapping. I see. Once the eye level mapping is compatible with the version of Easter you're using, to us on the car, it allows you to go through it. Program. It doesn't come up with that box that tells you, okay, we found a different version and, mm -hmm. and blah blah blah. So, okay. Yeah. But uh, your car, your car is, you, you have the latest, so you can, you can do something. It's just that if you put latest, if you program your car with um with your with the stuff I gave you, and then you bring the car to somebody else who does not know that you have the latest, right. they're not going to use a program. Right. <laughs> and they but can the nothing. system will tell you. Yes, the program. Yeah, the system. If they have a the system will tell them. It will come up yeah. with the dialog box that says the I level, the I step doesn't match. Okay. It will tell you that something is afoot with it, but it will come up. It will not tell you exactly okay. in detail, but. When it comes up, if you just a general, you will know because of experience. I know that's what right, I mean right, when it comes right. up. You will know. Right. And you can see that you can see you're gonna see this. You're gonna see two I step, they're gonna find two I step on it. Uh -huh. I level is otherwise called I step or I step in German. So you're gonna find two, you're gonna find one on it on the car, and they're gonna find one in the ISTP. They're gonna come with two of them say don't match. So therefore they can go forward right. and use that ISTP to pull up the car because there's a lot later I step or I stop on it. Okay. But you have to update your ISTP to that I stop. So that the mapping can be equal and then it right. Now the um, 
the, all these files with the Insta P and stuff, they're, they're the ones you installed now are 2016 versions. Yeah. How often do they release? Um, oh, okay. Updates or, and can that well, be updated? Or? Yes, yes, yes. All right. These are the files. Look, these are the object files that is updated every now and then. You see these files? Mm -hmm. They are written to. They open up with some editor and they write stuff to it and then they, they, they okay. compile them back and so on and they add them up and they release them to the DRT. Okay. And then the technician there, whoever well, well, the admission of the guys, it is up to the system. When we get them now, we do the same. Now we keep up our system current. Got I it. can give you incremental updates when they come because they give us sometimes incremental updates in three gigabytes or four gigabytes. Okay. So but sometimes when the increment of this stop, look at they only give you three. Uh -huh. Three after every major release. Let's say for instance, 359, right? It's a major release. It's a big file, 102 gigabytes. Make sure it's a full, yeah. full blown. Right. And they're going to give you three. They're going to give you 0.1, 0.2, and 0.3, and probably 0.4. Those are going to come in from of probably like 500 gigabytes, part one, and part two come as a gigabyte or two, and then part three, part four, and then if they come out to another one, a small increment, they give it to you 5 gigabytes and then you start. Right. After that, they come out to 3, 360. Okay. That's a big one. You have to pay for that one because that's why that one. Sure. That is how I have to charge, you know, the money I get for that one. And that is how, you know, I can give you an increment of this free. You know, you have to worry about that. I can't charge you money for something that I recently installed for you. Right, right, right. You know, you know so, you know, okay. just, uh, you know I, I can give you the increment of this free, but when it comes to the big one, the big file, yeah, the, the major ones, then, uh, yeah. but the ma the major ones would bring in, like, new vehicle, new models, new, new big numbers, new, new big numbers added to it. Unless, unless, you know, um, like, the, the file, that, uh, the VINs on the file are good to, what, 2016? Yes, uh, 2016 to up, up to a certain amount. Okay. Yes, that's what, you remember the ISTEP I showed you, the I level? Mm -hmm. July 2016, remember? Yeah. Yeah, the big numbers are current up to that time. Okay. Yeah, that is added to it. Yeah, you'll learn more about typically research online. All right, these now. This is what the control unit is. It's a program file that is written to the control unit mm -hmm. with this file here. This is program file. They call this P-A-B-D, um, P-S-G-B-D. Mean P for programming, mm -hmm. S-G mean control unit in German, and B-D mean description file. So these mm -hmm. are program description file, and this one right here in S-G that S-G mean control unit, and D-A-T that for data. Mm -hmm. Data in German mean control unit data file. These are the data okay. data files that outline the coding aspects of the car. So these are, these with these data files, these are the, these all the coding functionaries of the car. Mm -hmm. The active niche active, right here. Mm -hmm. That's where they are, right here. That's where they are, right Yeah, that's where they are, right here. So these are the different models on the car. These are the different control units on the car. You can see each one of them have several different variants of functions. You see them? Mm -hmm. To match the vehicle order that if somebody ordered the car from the factory with whatever they want, all of these files are, look, look how many you have. One, two, three, four, five. You see? For the CCC. Right. Is it different Lunch. types? All right. That means that all of these are different functioning to reflect the vehicle order of what the customer wants. Okay. Yeah. So you can't write any you can't write any and any and any one of these files to the CIC and expect it to work. Sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it has to all be synced up. That's what yeah, you have to, have to have a specific one. You have to know which specific one they used to do. And so on. So that is where we use NCS Expert to read that out and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. So Hey man, you're gonna like it. It's nice and sweet. It's sweet. I, I, I mean, I wish I'd known this 20 years ago. Nice and these are the data files which we use. We, these are these are these, these files is what ESAP used to program the car. Okay. We use this to draw the. Let me show you some stuff, man. There's a lot of knowledge here. You're gonna like it. All right. Let's say we go into the. Um, well, we'll just find something. Car communication computer. Which computer you have on your PC monitor? We're going to this one. I program an E60 the other day, and I go in this one. ABS. This type of ABS, you see what says here? Mm -hmm. EHB, EHB X60. You see the X right here? It means four wheel drive. Okay. It says that E60 has four wheel drive on it as a part of the vehicle order. So we have to look for this file when we're going to program the car. If we're going to use WinKFP. WinKFP now is a program which you use to rewrite the VIN number, uh, update the VIN number with the part number in the model. Okay. They use it on the factory floor over there still, and then we get those files that we know to use it. And do another challenge on that. Look, let me show you something. Let me show you where I program some. We can't be programming on here. We can't be programming on this. Here's me right here. See it? This is my program group here. That would be an E6. I was programming an E6 right here. So, I'll 
of programming some audio right here. Go back to some. I was programming on audio. So as you see, I make sure I'm going to first we're going to program our control unit using um, WinKFP. Um, this is it right here. See WinKFP. Mm -hmm. Right here. That's a, it's a software right here. We're going to update the ZB number on this E60. It's a job that I did almost one year ago. Last year November I get a job. Last year August. Mm -hmm. August 8th I get a job. One year ago. It's all the way up in um, the full out of here. And um, I changed some VIN numbers and some modules. Mm -hmm. And you know, the guy buy a car from the auction um, walking down it. Nothing work on the most ones. Everything is in red. And um, I wasn't able to communicate with that. They could buy all the modules that the car needs. And uh, one more thing again. Those modules are expensive, no? Or? What? Of course, man. They're expensive. This is the ZB number. The ZB number. Do you, you have a contact at a dealer or something that can give you a better price on money in case I need to get something? Well, if you have a friend there, you have to see what about it. Because I think some guys say they have a friend there. I don't have a friend right now that I could call you but it's cheap. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a friend right now. And some guy talks of something, I don't know much of what he says is true, you know? Yeah. They have a friend that has to get anything super cheap. You can't get super cheap. You're crazy. You know, so what's the surprise about that person? All the supervisor tell the manager why you why you said our products so cheap. Why? Yeah. What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, no. It, it, when you hear too cheap or really really cheap, then it's uh, kind of it fell off from the rack and it disappeared. Yeah. All right, look, I'm programming a console that I'm not sure. I'm so back over here. Look, I just launched it and I'm making it bigger now for you two people to see it. I'm gonna open the I'm programming a console anyway, so you're gonna see the module I select. Central body electronics. You see that that unit on the E60, the VIN number was different okay. from the original VIN number of, of the car. So I have to change it to match the VIN number that is on the other okay. modules. And the cast on the DME. The cast on the DME VIN is okay. Is there a place you can query all of those modules the VIN, the, the VIN number going inside? Yes, 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 yes. Is yes, that, yes, that's, yes. You have to use the, the, the IMPA. It's an IMPA. Oh, IMPA does that. Okay. You use, it, use, um, you use a command, functional jobs to do it. Functional jobs and UIF. Um, yes, you are. Yes, you have for people here to read it. Well, you know about the thing, man. I, I've been reading a lot. Yes. I just can't play with it because yes. it doesn't talk to my phone. Yes, 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 yes. I know I'm programming the ZBE now. I don't know that's going to go to a program. So, in some, I, it's been playing with this program because I have to use the car. But in some of these places, it asks, you put the full bin and then it asks the little checkbox if you want the uh, checksum. Yes. You're supposed to turn it on. You can turn on checksum if you want. You can turn on checksum. It's only, um, no, this don't use checksum at the end of the bed. It's NCS expert that uses it. Okay. Yeah, it just, you can, yeah, you can do it. The, the, the reason why people use the checksum is to avoid errors in the bin. Okay. The bin has to be right. Okay, you can't make a mistake with it. Yeah, because it's some algorithm of the total numbers you have a checksum. And if the numbers are not yeah. right, then it, um, yeah. You can't make any mistake with the bin because you can't screw up the whole model. You're probably already you're already the function already dead. Now, how about, how about write, write, read, well, read indefinitely. Maybe, but how many write cycles do you model? Oh, some of them is unlimited. Some of them is 12 times. But some of them are like once, for like the day and stuff like that, huh? No, they're well, uh, well, uh, well, the programming status now, BMW, they hide it, they hide it for several different reasons. I don't know, they're hiding it from the world at large, you know, but when I'm programming the uh, module, it tells me how many programming state left in it. Okay, like, you can program oh, more time, tell you. two more times, yeah, or 12 more times. Total 14, have used 10 of them. Yes, yes. I've seen one before. I have four, more, four, 14 more program states in it. can take four more programs. Oh, shit. Yes. yes. And I have a program on a module on a car, and it showed me that it can take unlimited programming. Unlimited programming. So I don't know. There are certain modules that are swapping with each other. This is the VIN number to the car. This one. Mm -hmm. uh, so look right here. So I see. This is what the UI block reader the first. All wise. Yeah. And then yeah. I write it. Uh, I don't know, in one of the programs I used to use where I worked here, that would mean like a blank field that was never yeah. coded. Enter one is this information that we have the module, and then enter two is the result on the ring that we change the ring number here, and then the, the, the same update is who is a member number, the car number, or the uh, assembly identification. German people, they are very intellectual people, man. Because these people, they like, their language is difficult, and you see, you, when something is difficult, it, 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 it forces your mind to, to, to 
measure of sure. a certain level of memory. So the German yeah. people are good at memory, and they're good at the, the cars. Man, you look at a BMW and a Mercedes Benz, man. You, yeah. you can't see the same quality in American car much. No, no comparison. No matter what they say, there is no comparison. You know, it's quality. Quality is high, man. These, these people mindset are high. I think it have a lot to do with their language. Mm -hmm. The language is difficult. Sure. So it forces their mind to measure up to this difficult language, and then. When they learn it all, their mind reaches an elevation yeah. of competency in, in mental fortitude. Then sure, sure. Because it's speak. constant. They have to exercise the mind a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And we love, we love knowledge, man. I love, I love it with the everything to do knowledge. What are things you want to learn that I can share with you? Um, Chris, I think um, I just want to let me get on the road. Let me get back home and let's see if we can uh, move forward. Uh, you know, as I have access to a tool and talk to the car. I'll uh, be able to kind of self-tutor myself if I stumble across a, a right. roadblock. I'll, I'll give you a, yeah. give you a holler. Yeah. And um, and from the, uh, yeah, I got my computer here. I got my box here, and the only thing that hasn't yeah. happened is <laughs> the important stuff. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What's this? Hmm? What's your second life? How much I give you? I thought it's 435 or second. No, no, 40. It's 40. 50. 50. I, wanted, I got that's exactly what I, what I got out of bank. I, mean, I got two cars left in here. That's it. I'm not going to. Remember, I, I told yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to bury it. How about, you know, can we settle for um, 300 for the cable and 150 for the module? And uh, you say, yeah, that's okay. You know, I'll take this one from over. I'll worry about it. Yeah, yeah. I can accept this one. So, um, all right, man. Let me uh, head on home. Yes, sir. I hope the traffic will beat me up to that. Yes, sir. And uh, we'll, the business, I we'll be in touch, brother. You Let me tell you, you're going yeah. to get some referrals from me. I appreciate it. You, uh, you definitely.
Thank you.